Hi folks, welcome back to another Cubase tutorial. Today we are going to delve into the um, hidden secrets of dynamic equalizers. I'd like to show you three uh, showcases which uh, demonstrate the use of a dynamic equalizer. Um, the first uh, showcase is a deep popper. Um, I'm going to show you the uh, spectrum analyzer. And as you can see here, um, if I produce a pop sound, pop, 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 you get uh, a very high peak around this area. Pop, 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 pop. And of course, I could use a static equalizer in order to solve this problem, but, but a static equalizer um, would also um, attenuate frequencies I'd, I would like to keep, but the um, intention of a dynamic equalizer is to react uh, dynamically on the uh, spectral content of the signal such that um, it only at attenuates the um, spectral content if the uh, signal exceeds a special uh, threshold. Um, in this sense, it, it a bit works like a compressor. Okay. Um, uh, I use the uh, dynamic EQ from uh, Melter Produ Productions and it looks like this. And if I start this sonogram, you can see the frequencies here and you can also hear my um, deep spectrum and now I switch on the uh, dynamic equalizer option um, with this um, a bar you can uh, adjust the uh, amount of dynamic equalization so if I uh, go into the negative region uh, the signal will be uh, dynamically attenuated you can also see it here of and if I uh, show it in the other direction it will um, uh, make the signal stronger Okay, now we would like to have an attenuation. As you can see here, uh, while I'm talking, the, the dynamic equalizer reacts on the signal. And now if I sing my, my tone, more, you can see it reaches uh, the frequency here. And the dynamic equalizer isn't doing a lot, but if I start making pop sounds now, uh, like this, I switch it off uh, for this purpose. Pop, 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 pop. Now switch it on and it will react um, on the frequency which is produced by the pop sound. Pa, 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 pa. And as you can see, it is attenuated now. And we can also watch this on the spectral analyzer. and my uh, deep uh, note is not attenuated. More. I switch it off again. More. No influence, but only influence on the uh, frequencies caused by the pop sound. Pa, 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 pa. Dynamic equalizer switched on. Okay, now I show you another showcase which demonstrates how I can DS with a dynamic equalizer. Okay, for this purpose I switch to another project which I prepared for you.
Okay, here it is. Um, for the showcase, I exaggerated the the uh, S frequencies a bit using the uh, Pultic EQ. I boosted it um, uh, in the uh, five kilohertz uh, area. And let's watch and hear what happens. As you can already hear, s if I uh, pronounce an S, 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 s. it's very sharp and sibilant. S, s, s. Okay, um, that is what we want to attenuate now. Okay, I switched on now the uh, dynamic equalizer. For this purpose, I used another one. It's the uh, Clis EQ from Voxenko. And as you can see here, we'd like to handle these these two frequencies have to be uh, attenuated in, in order to um, um, to treat our sibilance. Okay, I switch it on now. Now you can hear the difference. You can hear the difference. You can hear the difference. I switch it off again. You can hear the difference. You can hear the difference. And dynamic EQ switch on, you can hear the difference. You can hear the difference. And I can also show here what the uh, dynamic IQ actually does. This is the first frequency. So it's working here. Oh, one moment. Okay. S -s 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 -s. Okay, as soon as, as an S reaches uh, the uh, frequency spectrum it's attenuated dynamically and the same with the other frequency. S, 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 s. Okay, these were the showcases for, uh, for, uh, for deep popping and de -sing. and the last showcase will be a project where I um, used a dynamic equalizer for the classic singer which had um, when she uh, sang very loud, she had a very um, resonant uh, frequency and I will show you how I attenuated it. Okay, for this purpose I have to find the project. Okay, I loaded now the project to, um, with the uh, classical recording. And here is the part uh, of the singer with the frequency problems. Um, and uh, when she's singing very loud, uh, this uh, disturbing uh, frequency um, becomes re resonant and prominent. And I'm using, um, in a subtle way, the um, dynamic EQ in order to attenuate this resonance a bit. Here is the mixer and here is the track. Uh, Gesang is German for um, voice or singing. And this is the dynamic EQ from Melda Productions. Okay, and this is the uh, frequency with the problems. And as you can see here, it's around uh, 7 hertz. And um, the dynamics are set to uh, about minus 60 dB, and if this uh, frequency becomes prominent, um, it's uh, attenuated up to dynamically attenuated up to minus 60 dB. Okay, um, now let's first listen to the track uh, without dynamic EQing. And oh, wait a moment. I'm running the uh, analyzer and there you can watch uh, the frequency. Here it is. This is a frequency, uh, a frequency uh, which is uh, disturbing. Okay, and now with dynamic equalization. And uh, let's start again.
okay, as you could see and may maybe could hear, uh, this frequency is now uh, reduced a bit, tamed a bit if you want, and I was very happy with the result. Okay, I'm now at the end of my tutorial. I hope these showcases were helpful for you. Of course, you can do uh, um, many other things with uh, dynamic EQing. And here we are. Goodbye.